Hello and welcome to On Wednesdays. We went black. Dun, 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 dun. That would be the kind of cheesy intro we would have. Didn't even introduce we were... me, but I'll go fucking kill myself, I guess. Didn't introduce myself either. I'm Sophie K. Uh, and I'm here with Yasmin Suman. Yasmin Suman, special guest. <laughs> special, special guest. guest stars for this episode would be the demons in our head. Yes. Uh, a lot to pick from. This week is a news episode. It's time to do the catch up. Yup. I wasn't ever sure if people liked these episodes. Um, mm. Much like our existence, I don't even know if people really like us. But people seem to like these episodes. It helps them catch up, which is nice because I also don't know shit that's going on until I listen to these episodes and I do the research and I'm like, oh, cool. <laughs> Great. There we go. It's like it's just condensing everything that's happening in the scene. And if you have like a job or you've got to go to school or anything like that, you're probably you're not living the scene. Too busy getting bitches, much like me, I would know the struggle. Um... Or too busy getting bitches, um, then you <laughs> you probably don't know what's been going on. So we like to catch you up with what's been happening. So Yasmin. Are you ready to find out what's been happening in the news? Are you ready? Do Are crumble! you ready? Google had a look at what has been trending. And in a very interesting turn of events, according to Google Trends, the interest in new metal has now exceeded its previous peak in 2004 when Google began tracking. So that means yes! new metal is bigger now than it's ever been. Yes! Amazing! That's I your people. That's the you Gen Zs. I love that. I love that. As we should. You know what? Because new metal fucking slaps. There's a whole generation, my generation, hey. that didn't, <laughs> didn't <laughs> even grow up listening to it. You didn't even realise that you did there, did you? I did. I did. My generation. I didn't even <laughs> see Limp Biscuit when they came to town recently. Don't want to talk about it. Don't want to talk about it. It hurts too much. Um, But... There's like my I I grew up on emo, so like finding new metal was fucking sick. It was so I would throw ass to new metal, ass three sixty rotating. I used to carry shake. my Papa Roach Infest CD everywhere, um, which is now twenty three years old, which t- terrifies me. I used to carry it everywhere with me, alongside my Backstreet Boys Millennium CD, um. So that if I was ever in a situation where people were playing music, I could ask them to play my music, which now I see why my friends used to get a little bit annoyed at me. I I fighting the urge to point out that I'm the same age as that Papa Roach record. Fighting the urge. Fight I'm genuinely I, I can feel myself clawing out, being like, I was actually I hate when you. that record came out. Um, I was though. I fucking love Papa Roach. I'm glad that Papa Roach are getting their flowers with this new metal revival and Evanescence actually. Evanescence have been popping their fucking pussy. I love Amy Lee. As as we should. She's an angel. I love her. I love following Papa Roach on TikTok because they're hilarious. If you don't do that already, you should, because they are on it they do some really funny stuff um okay so otherwise in the news if you live in the uk if this is something very relevant to you if you don't this is just to make you jealous um so download festival which is the second biggest single site (gasps) festival in the uk second only to glastonbury which we've definitely all heard of Hmm. this year is headlined by slipknot metallica for two nights and bring me the horizon New bands have been announced to the lineup, which includes State Champs, Hundred Reasons, Cherry Bomb, uh, Cherry Bombs, Cancer Bats, Static Dress, and they're all going to be there. I'm so here for like, I don't in America do they have festivals like we have festivals? Like, do Americans have festivals? <laughs> no, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> that's not what I'm saying. Like in America, aren't they normally like um, you don't camp as much? That's what I heard. I was recently at a show with some Americans who were saying camping is a thing. Like you can camp at festivals, but it's just it's nothing on par to download. Like it's just it's not even the same. Like download festival, you camp there, you make you make family. The family you camp with at download, family for life. You can call yeah. them when there's like you've got a flat tire when you need a lift somewhere, and they will be there. Some of my best friends are people I met at download. 
Download festival is, oh, in fact, UK festivals where you have camping, that's great for it. It just, it solidifies you as closer because it's so disgusting. Oh, fully. Camping and drinking. Like camping is normally something that families do. And then festivals is something that young people who drink a lot and older people who drink a lot tend to do. So when you mix the two... It's so primitive. It's a lot. You you wake up in the morning the first day you come out hobbling like Roger from American Dad and you look around <laughs> all your friends who are hungover some are half naked outside the tent the other ones are huddled up with like five blankets just you know completely away from everyone else covered in piss um and you look at each other and you're like we feel like wild animals right now and then you just sit around your tiny little barbecue that you got from from any old supermarket and you eat burnt bacon and some bread and it's it's such a it's such an experience i i treasure those times i'm all under a a canopy that will blow away if it gets even remotely windy if you told me if you described it like that and then said do you want to go to a festival i'd probably say no (laughs) but then the funny thing is at the end of the festival it's it's a known thing festival blues it's what we call it because you've you've been living with these rock people and this is your life just going to see bands every day for so long that once you leave the world feels it's empty my heart is empty i fucking love download festival i'm considering camping this year i do have a hotel booked but like i'm so close to getting camping because obviously like me and sophie will be there might be doing some stuff you never know um but i'm so close to getting camping and camping with my friends wow okay you do that but on your own um so also happening (laughs) because there is no way i'm camping no guest camping has really nice showers i listen Look who I, I've done the guest. Ca- I have done the camping back in my day, Yasmin. I camped, I came, I camped, I nearly died. Okay, so releases. We have the one and only Enter Shikari, who are looking at getting a number one album potentially. Yes. Um, we've also had releases from. Dave Lombardo, Currents, The Death We Seek, an amazing album. Spirit Box. Oh, Spirit Box. Bring Me as well. Bring Me the Horizon. I've seen that like image of Ollie Sykes laying down everywhere. I know. Um, didn't we also have New Nothing Nowhere, a new track from them? Oh yeah. Okay. Isn't the new isn't the new album out? Well, there we go. New album. We've also got new used and a new track from Sleep Token and a new album, Take Me Back to Eden. We need to discuss the chokehold that Sleep Token have over sexy bitches because I, listen, sex metal has always been a thing. One of my favourite sex metal songs is Sex Metal Barbie by In This Moment and Whore by In This Moment. Honestly, In This Moment kind of have been doing sex metal for a long time. But, oh my God, I could have some babies to Sleep Token. I feel like it came from Deftones. I feel like it's the Deftones vibe. The Deftones effect. Like, oh, they're just amazing. So, yeah, some great releases. But back to news and things that you may have in your social chat, Yasmin. Mm-hmm. So my first one. Have you heard of AISIS? ISIS? Because I'm brown? Wow. <laughs> oh Here we go again. Here we go wow. again. Wow. No, I haven't heard of AISIS. Isn't that like the AI music people thing? So, basically, somebody got AI to make an Oasis song. <gasps> and Liam Gallagher commented on it and said, you know, it sounds great, all that kind of stuff. But it got me thinking, we are living in a world where AI could start creating music. It's really bad. I'm going to say something toxic. So, like, I've known uh, about this through TikTok because um, there's, like, Drake covers of AI covers of songs. There's, um, like, Adele covering Back to Black as an AI, and it sounds really good. I kind of, I'm kind of here for it. Ugh. No, yeah, because... you can't support AI. Where are we on? They're stealing our jobs. <laughs> they are stealing our jobs. They are. But if if Rihanna's going to tease us with an album for this long, AI might as well do the job for her. I'm sorry. It's it sounds it's terrible. I morally acknowledge how horrible it is for the music industry. But my God, it slaps. <laughs> No, oh my gosh, I'm terrified of AI. I'm not even going to lie, I'm terrified. Especially I'm since I followed AI. AI Keanu Reeves for ages on TikTok and I only just realised he was AI. And um, 
Also because I do a lot of voiceover work. That's how I earn my money. And it might be AI voiceover soon. 